Here I am on Digital Wishes homepage. This is just at digitalwish.org. And take a look over here in the right hand side. This is our whole fundraising area over here. And you can see we've got a link to the yearbook section, a link to the t shirts, a link to Recycle Forward. And we have a whole fundraising area here that you can go to. So let's just start right here at the top with the yearbook section. I'm going to click on that yearbook link. And what it's going to do is it's going to take me to a page on Digital Wish where it's going to ask me to to log in. So if I've already registered on Digital Wish, I can just put in my username and password and hit login. But if I'm a first time visitor, a new user, you're going to want to register. All of these fundraising tools require that you be registered on Digital Wish because the money that you raise goes right into your Digital Wish account and then it can be applied to discounts and donations of technology. So, so I'm going to click on this teachers button and go through the process of signing up. So you basically just browse for your school. I've already filled in these blanks just to make it a little quicker for you, but it's a really simple sign up form. You pick your school from a drop down menu uh, after browsing to your state and then you put in all of this information, select I agree and hit finish. Now if you came in from the yearbook site, it's going to take you right into building your yearbook. This last screen that I want to show you about is, is really important. This is an optional selection field that lets you actually identify your areas of interest. So if your subject, let's say your subject is grammar, spelling, writing, and you check all of these check boxes, you can fill in as little or as much of this information as all as you like. It's all completely optional. Or you can skip it all together, but I don't recommend skipping it because if you skip it, then our search engine won't pick you up in the search and help donors find your profile more easily. So when you register, I encourage you to fill in all of this information and save it. And then the site will take you right to starting to build your yearbook to logging in. So here I am, and I'm going to click on Create a Yearbook. Now, I've already got an account, so let me switch over to another browser and show you a yearbook that I've been working on. So basically, you do, you do a sign-in at the Peekaboo Yearbook site, and then you can either start a new yearbook, or if you've already been working on a yearbook like I have, you can uh, go ahead and open that up. So I'm going to show you one that's already in process, so you can take a look at what that process is. So here's my collection. I could have, you know, one, two, five books going at once. They could be picture books, they could be yearbooks, whatever. So I'm going to hit the edit button and I'm going to open up my yearbook here. And you'll notice when it first comes in, it takes you into a whole sections page. And so I have all different sections in my yearbook. I can look at the cover. Let me click on the cover section and show you what that looks like. And it's actually, it's just going to the cover section and uh, giving you some tips and tricks as you go. Now, my, my kids have a band called Blackberry Jam. So instead of doing a yearbook, I like to do a picture book for Blackberry Jam, of course. So this is what my cover looks like. Now, imagine for a second that when you print a yearbook, you're going to have a front and a back. And when it prints, it's all going to be printed on one one sheet. So what you're seeing here is a spread layout. Let me switch over to my webcam and I'm going to show you. I've got an actual printed Peekaboo yearbook here and you can take a look at, at how it has the cover and here's the spread. So that's, that's what you're looking at is the front and the back. Now this yearbook has a personalization rear cover and we'll talk about that in a little while. But that's, that's sort of the image that you're looking at from the yearbook. So that gives you some perspective. Okay, let me go back here. Now, all right, so how did I get all this stuff on my page? Let's go to the sections, and I'm just going to build out a yearbook the way I would if I was in a school. So let me add in a new section. And let's say I'm going to use a freeform section and select Next. And 
let's say I want it to be a two-page spread. So I'm going to pick two pages for my spread, and this is going to be this is going to be about well, it's, it's my kid's book, so I'll I'll say it's when they were on American Idol. Okay, so and I'll hit the finish button. So you see, I've got my American Idol section. It's got two blank pages in it, and I can just click to go to that section. So here's what a blank section looks like, and then I can start to add photos. Let me click on the add photos for this section, and I have lots of different options. I can go and get them from my computer, and if I click there, literally it's just a browse to your computer, and you'll find, you know, whatever pictures you have on your desktop, you can just go in and browse. So here's idle. Here's some of the idle shots when my kids uh, tried out for American Idol. So let me select, I'm just going to pick three or four of those and open those up. And it's brought me up the thumbnails and I just clicked to add them to the yearbook. Now, you can see they're here on the page and I can take a photo and, and take a look at it and say, oh, that's good. That would be a great background photo. That's just to preview it. Now let's let's drag this photo onto one of the pages and make it into a spread. So I'm going to make this the background. So I click on background spread and it'll take it a minute for it to load up in and you can see there's American Idol. There's one of my kids on stage. And then these are some other photos that I have and, and I can take those photos and I can add them onto the page. And then let's make that a maybe a single page photo. So once that photo's on, I can then drag it around, I can rotate it, I can make it bigger or smaller, do all of these things. So let's go let's go up here and then let me go back to my sections again. So you can see how kind of easy it is to to construct a yearbook. Let's go back to sections now and let me show you some sections that I've already built. So I've got cover, I've got body, I've got the whole book. Let's go into the whole book and take a look at that. This is an 18 page section. In this section I was just getting started and I was assembling some themes onto my page. Take a look at the right hand side and notice all of these different themes on the right hand side. There's themes here and there's 5,469 themes in that category. Most viewed, there's 10,000 there. I'm going to scroll through a few of these a few of these themes and let you take a look at what some of them look like. Here I've got a little bit of beach. If I want to, let's say I'll grab a picture here of, that's a good one. Okay, so I'm going to take that picture and I'm going to drag it and put it over here and let's make that a single page photo. Okay, so that picture is going to come in and then I can rotate it like that, bring it up. Let's add a text box, add caption to the left page, and here it comes. Okay, so I'm going to say sun and fun. Uh, so now I highlight. Let's make that text white, picking out the color, selecting OK, and then let's make that font super huge because I want that to be a nice big font, and let's make it a fun font. Oops, couldn't save. So the program is auto-saving as it goes, and that's, that's really important because you don't have to worry about hitting a save and saving all your work as you go. So here's another background. Let me scroll through a few more backgrounds and look at some of these really cool themes that you can put in. So that's an example of some themes that I've assigned to a section. Let's go into another section and let's put a different theme on that section. So I'm going to go into the body and you'll see on the left hand side that's, that page is not editable because I've only selected a certain number of pages for this section. So let's page through what I've put on put on these pages so far. Now here's a page four and five that I haven't put a theme on yet. Let's put a theme on page four. So I'm going to come over here and this is my background themes. 
I'm going to look at the most viewed themes. Those are those are really fun. Most most viewed backgrounds, and I'll go ahead and look at some of those. And I say, oh, there's a good one. Let's bring that one in. So I brought that theme in, and then let's select a picture. So you can see in literally a matter of minutes, you can build up a super looking yearbook and uh, put all these things in here. Now, one of the really cool things about this is that you can manage multiple students across different sections in the yearbook. So you'll notice I've been managing all my sections myself, but in this section area, you can pick out a section and see this team button up here. You can actually assign a team to each section. So like you could put the third graders on their own third grade section, put the fifth graders on their section, put the booster club uploading pictures for their section, and they literally log in and all they'll see is what section is assigned to them. So this is a great program for yearbook club. One of the really cool things is when you're finished, I'm going to wrap this up now so we can move on to different fundraising tools. So um, when you're finished, what's going to happen is you're going to automatically get a marketplace that your parents and teachers and students can go to to order their printed yearbooks. So this is uh, uh, similar to what a marketplace is going to look like. Let me shift back now and show you what the what the printed yearbooks look like. So I've got a, a couple of these printed yearbooks here. They're incredibly inexpensive when you compare them to something like Justin's um, and, the, and the price that they charge for the contract on the yearbook. You can see how compelling these yearbook pages are. They're really, really well themed. The pictures are really colorful. It's a lot of fun stuff in the yearbooks to work with. And all of these layouts, like these picture layouts, are automatically in there. So once the pictures are in, you can just drag them in and it'll just go into these layouts. Let me show you a few of the introductory pages here as well. You know, fun stuff like that, that's the kind of stuff that I was building, you know, a freeform page like that. So you can use templated pages or you can use freeform pages. When you get these yearbooks, they're not, um, they're not chintzy or cheap or anything like that. They're very inexpensive, but they're, they're high quality. Look at the size. Here's an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Notice when I put it over the top, it's, it's a nice big size. So it's like an oversized yearbook. So when you go to your marketplace, when you're finished building your yearbook and you, and you go to your marketplace, you get a cost of goods. So let's say your book costs $10 to print. Well, you can sell your, your yearbook for $20, and all of the money that you earn will automatically go back into your Digital Wish account. So it's a great way to earn money for technology 